Now, museums have become a target ground for climate activists who have time and again used art to create awareness about the consequences of climate crisis. The latest one being conducted in Austria, the climate activists who belong to the last generation group attacked a painting by Gustav Klimt, a 1915 painting titled Death and Life. With one throwing a black oily liquid at the painting, while another gluing himself to the glass covering the painting, the activists were protesting against the government's use of fossil fuels. And this episode is the latest in a series of such actions by climate change activists seeking to jolt public opinion by throwing liquid or gluing themselves to famous artworks. If we look at uh, other instances here, in October, climate protesters threw mashed potatoes at Claude Monet's uh, green stacks painting in a German museum. The activists belonged to the last generation group as well and were protesting against fossil fuel extraction. And after throwing mashed potatoes, they glued their hands to the wall. While in the UK, climate activists belonging to the Just Stop Oil Group smeared chocolate cake over a waxwork model of Britain's King Charles III at London's Madame Tussauds Museum. And the demonstrators, they were demanding that the government should halt all new oil and gas licenses. The group Just Stop Oil have also targeted various artworks across the country. Two activists from the group threw soup over Winston Van Gogh's iconic painting Sunflowers at London's National Gallery. In June, two activists glued themselves to the frame of Vincent van Gogh's Peach Trees and Blossom painting at the Court Lord Gallery in London. While in July, members of the group glued their hands to a frame holding a copy of Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper at London's Royal Academy of Art and to the frame of J.M.W. Turner painting at Manchester Art Gallery. In addition to all of these instances, in Australia as well, two extension rebellion groups Activists, pardon me, glued their hands to a Pablo Picasso painting in Melbourne. The activists wanted to convey the connection between the consequences of climate change and human suffering. They stood with their hands stuck to the protective covering on Picasso's massacre in Korea with a banner reading climate chaos equals to war plus famine on the floor in front of them at the National Gallery of Victoria. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.